guys welcome back to another youtube video so today i'm going to be painting with my sister and we're going to be reading assumptions not confessions we're going to be reading confessions while we're painting and yeah in the end you guys can comment down below who you think the winner is so we're just gonna paint like you know any christmas stuff we have all the stuff here the first confession is I've been lying to my girlfriend about my financial your financial status. See, she is really rich and my family lost everything in looting. And I was scared to tell her and I lied that I was rich too. I lied about how many cars I had. Now she's coming over and is gonna see everything. Johannesburg. <laughs> bruh, that's so sad though. But no. I mean Brad, because it's like you lost everything in looting, so if she's understanding, then she'll, you know, understand that, like, why you're in the situation that you're in. He's sleeping. Okay, but, like, <laughs> he lied, though. Yeah, like, he should have told her the truth. If she's not understanding, then she's not the one. But then, if she just understood... Oh, what are you painting? It's purple. Is this Christmas related? Uh, it's okay. It has to be like... I don't think you had to lie. Cause now look what's gonna happen and it's just gonna be like where's all that stuff you say <laughs> now you're gonna keep lying like nah my family's coming over or 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 like, we've got fleas we've got and, this and that and your lies won't add up at renovating at this point it just won't add up okay the cars in construction <laughs> what did you say nigga <laughs> the cars in construction no, the, the cars are being fixed, they're being cleaned or something. Mm, all of them at the same time. There was a snake in the house, so we had to clean it, so now we're living here for a while. <laughs> okay, the intense eye contact and staring at each other between our sets is all fun and games until my gym crush's apparent girlfriend walks in and they start training legs together. Okay. Okay. But why would why? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Maybe he called her to train so that you can just move on, you see, because maybe it wasn't like actually you getting the wrong idea and he's like creeped out by you. Intense eye contact. You watched too maybe many movies. Maybe it was movies. just you. You watched too many maybe movies. Maybe it was just you and he feels Yeah, in your mind you felt maybe in your mind you thought that. But then maybe he was just like this girl. Girl. What are you looking at? What? What are you looking at? Like <laughs> Tinder's officially broken me as a guy. I downloaded it hoping to meet someone and I've only come up with three matches and ten likes within this entire month. What do girls look for when they swipe me? Eh, I don't know. Me, I don't need Tinder. <laughs> I don't know, but it's clearly not you. <laughs> just just go out, bruh. Like, go out and actually meet people. Or, I don't know, go on Love Island or something. <laughs> yeah. And, like, you get more notes, just more followers and I just found out that my boyfriend, who is 22 years old, still showers and bathes with his mom. I got really grossed out by it, but maybe it's because my family is more reserved. I've literally never seen my dad naked before. He said it was to save time and water. Is this a normal thing? Should I be less grossed out? Because I almost broke up with him over it. Eh, save time and water. I don't know what to say <laughs> I mean, I get the excuse. But then... No, man. I don't know if I want to say it's gross, but it's weird. It's just weird. <laughs> Cute or creepy? An Instagram follower, whom I've never met, got my address from my colleague, sent me flowers, bought, me two, of my, bought two of my products that I sell, and bought me a spa voucher. This is more than my ex of five years ever did for me, and I've never even met the guy or flirted with him. Cape Town. That's cute, man. Think about it. How much research and everything did he have to do to get you a dress and do all that other stuff? It don't matter. That is husband. It's giving very much. What's that show called? Love. You? Oh, you. It's giving, <laughs> giving very much you. I guess it's. No, man, it is sweet. For me, it's like, if you're not obsessed with me, then it's 
black or white, you know what I'm saying? What's not gonna regret this? I don't even know this person, right? She's a random person, one of your followers, like... Okay, um... That I finally completed my undergrad degree of six years. I spent a few days in hospital in my first year, became so depressed in my second year. I failed most of it again, and again last year in my final year. Which means I had to do some modules again this year, and I'm happy to report that I'm not as depressed anymore, and that I made it into the finish line. Mm. If I could do it, you can do it too. Never stop fighting. Okay, that was a nice confession, you know. A little motivation. Wait, what about you, the you think you can hurt me? When I was eight, I found a cool rock at the beach. I named it, made it my best friend, took it everywhere with me. Then one time, I took it in the bath with me, and it started dissolving. And it turns out it was hardened dog poop. <laughs> Ew, you in the box of poop. The way I'm so insecure about myself, whenever I start talking to a new guy, I'm always scared to post any of my friends on social media because he may think they're prettier than me. How? <laughs> that's, that's just you, Cole. You're just insecure. That's sad. That's sad. Um, girl, I think you just need to work on yourself before you start talking to new people. I don't think I'm depressed. I'm always so happy around family and friends, but sometimes when I'm driving on the highway, I have to stop myself from wanting to just swerve into the barricade at 130 kilometers per hour. Yo, maybe the reason you think you're not depressed is because when you're around your friends and family, you don't feel sad, but then when you're alone, you start know, to overthink and everything. Exactly. So maybe you are depressed, but you just don't want to accept it because you feel like, nah. Because when you went alone in your thought, that's when you really know that, like, I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling like this. So yeah. My family is struggling financially, and for the first time it's been so bad, we don't even have food to eat properly and can't afford basic needs. I'm always asked by friends to go out, but always say I'm studying because I'm too embarrassed to admit that I cannot afford to pay anything if I do come out. I mean, that's just your business, you know, if you don't want to share that, then... I mean, you did, but anonymously, but then, yeah. Oh, Lord. To the guy who works in the eye store in four ways with the tattoos, <laughs> I know you felt that connection when you made eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's up with all these eye contact things, like... You guys are trying to read in between the lines, but this like, is, there's know, nothing to read into, bruh. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't come into the shop to talk to you. I wasn't dressed as great as I could have been and low-key wished you came out of the store to talk to me first. I, I, female 21, have a gym membership, but I seriously get discouraged when I go. There's always girls giving me dirty looks because I'm on the bigger side. I always have no one to gym with. So I feel very out of place. It destroys what self-confidence I have left. Guys, that's so messed up. Like, people are always attacking other people for no reason. Like, yeah, but I'm saying though, like, maybe you should just, like, try to gym at home or something, you know, buy some weights or whatever you want. Or do more, like, what is it called? Like, just exercises that don't really need weights and all those other things. Body weight exercises. Yeah, or make find a way to you know build up your self esteem or something because it's what always. What are you talking be, about? Just keep going because people will always hate. So do what you gotta do. I made a fake Instagram account and followed all the girls my boyfriend has been with before me, and I am literally a ten amongst a bunch of fives. Okay. I deleted the account and I made oh not worried. Oh good. <laughs> After dating for three years and engaged for one, Aww. my fiance cheated. Oh, <laughs> After a guy's not out and brought an escort to into our home, I found out when I when I seen bedding was in the laundry, and his shirt was full of makeup. I don't accept cheating, but we have a baby together. They also just co-parents. Divorce co-parent. Divorce. Don't months. don't stay with the cheated bruh just because y'all have a baby together and everything. I know it's sad, but then don't. I asked a girl I thought was cute out on dinner on, on Monday. She agreed and things went amazing.
cuts Wednesday and her husband calls me to say hi. She's married. First date in six years and this happened. Six years? Yo. <laughs> Yo. Shame. And he probably got his hopes up. You know, it's all excited. <laughs> and her husband got But that's messed up on her side though. Like, why she do that? Anyway, bruh. That husband needs to leave her because she literally cheated on you. She just cheated on you. Instead, you're gonna tell the guy, you know, like she's married. She should be aware that she's married, so she cheated on him. So. There's this girl at my gym who always gives me one of these vibes when I see her. Guys, it's always the gym and it's always the staring and the vibes. Anyways, I'm too scared to do anything. I always catch her looking at me, but I never know if she's checking out checking me out as well or trying to see if that creepy dude is still looking at her hi i'm a total clean freak it's become so bad that when i'm done with my number two i start wiping and i don't stop until i see some blood on the toilet paper then i know it's completely clean stop it get some help super young I used to eat ants <laughs> uh, when I saw them crawling around like just pick one up one or two and eat them as I grew older I obviously I realized it was weird but I also understand that kids do weird things like eat their burgers so I thought the ants were just another one of those things but every single time I brought up the fact I used to eat ants people would look at me like I'm weird yeah. I do this really depressing thing Whenever I feel too happy or carried away, I just look at my marks to calm myself down and go study. <laughs> so sad, bro. I'm a 19 year old female and I still have to watch cartoons on Netflix at night in order to fall asleep. I'm kind of impressed about it. I mean, I guess it's like, you know, sometimes you just watch cartoons here and there just because. But then you need to watch them to fall asleep. been dating this girl for five years just waiting for her to finish exams so i can break up with her this is the longest month of my life month <laughs> sorry i don't know i'm not but that's so sad because what if she's like excited for exams to be over so y'all can hang out or something but you're just waiting for her to, i mean i i guess at least he waited for her to finish exams so she, she can be focused Five years though, five years. Throw back to when I was in grade five when I asked a disabled girl in a wheelchair what I thought was gonna be a dark joke and I don't wanna laugh at Guys, I don't like dark jokes because sometimes it's deep. Okay, if it was fun riding around in a wheelchair all day, keeps me up at night till this day. Why you were curious? Yeah, maybe you didn't know because, yeah. Okay guys, so this is mine. It's a bit messy. But yeah, you know, that's mine. And then... Alright, and then this is my sister's. I already showed you guys. But yeah, comment down below who you think won. Obviously my sister won, because you know, she's more artistic and everything. But that's the end of this video, y'all. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.